Hi guys, I'm Smith James. I hope you're doing well and welcome back for another movie review and today's review we are going to talk about the first Batman film of the Nolan Dark Knight trilogy and that is Batman Begins. So before we do, if you haven't seen any of my seen any, seen any of my Batman Batman reviews, there will be a link. Well, four links. There will be links down in the description below. So you, so you guys go and check it out. And and second of all, thank you so much for supporting me and by supporting me if you want well t well well basically if you want to support me smash the like button subscribe to the channel turn notifications on so you will be notified when I upload when I upload a next video upload a new video and in no further ado let's review Batman Begins and let's get right to the video so so Batman Begins um, this film is a amazing film like almost a perfect a perfect film um, this film is an origin story like like Spider-Man or Superman or whatever but this is like a grounded type of film and the setting of Batman Begins is very realistic um, kind of like the DCU with the Ben Affleck Batman but it's similar to that but but very grounded and very dark and gloomy that, that is really cool and the characters we got in this film that is we, that is Christian Bale as Batman slash Bruce Wayne. We got um, Katie Holmes as is it Katie Holmes? I think that's her name. I think that's her name. I think that's her name. Yeah, Katie Holmes. I look at the the the, the bottom bit. So. Got Katie Holmes as Rachel Dawes, Michael Caine as Alfred Pennyworth, Lucy Fox, well, Morgan Freeman as Lucy Fox, Liam Neeson as Ross O'Doul, our main baddie in this film, and also Scarecrow, one, one of the villains in this film as well, and that's really cool because this is this is the first time that we got Ra's al Ghul and Scarecrow in live action form and that's really 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 cool and also Rachel Dawes is the brand new character that they created for this series and that's for the film for the trilogy and that's really cool like really cool you know what I mean and, and let me tell you about what I like I like the, the I like the characters the characters are, are really um, plan out uh, they're they're really written out and they're really cool and the tools of all of them it, it's more well obviously Batman and the next one I really liked was um, Liam Neeson and Raj Al Ghul. He plays him like incredibly well, and I re and I really love him. He's he's amazing. And the um, other character, Lucy Fox, played by played by Morgan Freeman, is cool. And that's the characters we got. Also, well, with um, we got Christian Loeb. And also, I forgot, we, we got Gary Oldman as James Gordon, but in this film, he's not Commissioner Gordon yet, because he's Sergeant Gordon. And also, 
let me tell you let's talk about the uh, the Batmobile so their version of the Batmobile is the Tumblr and the Tumblr is awesome like the way you see on screen is amazing the way it's where it is it's smashing the things um, destroying things using weapons it's very awesome and the bat suit of the bat suit that Batman that Bruce Wayne wore is very cool very dark like 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 the bat suit f from Batman 1989 and also the Dark Knight and the logo the, the logo of Batman Begins is really cool very edgy very um, iconic very like heroic type of logo if you say so myself and now let me talk about the story the story is is based on its origin it based on its origins and that's really cool so now let me tell you about the story I'm not don't talk I'm not going to do the details but but I will go from from scene and draw few scenes and draw up to few scenes okay so, so that's about the story so so here we first see is well so here first begins with um started with Bruce Wayne and Rachel Dawes as children playing hide and seek and they got a wooden leaf that they like doing or finding keepers type of thing and then Bruce Wayne as he fell or was hiding but he actually fell into a abandoned well and while he when he fell down Rachel Dawes tried to tried to tell Alfred that Bruce Wayne actually fell down a well, and and Bruce Wayne actually after he landed, he actually hurt himself with a fracture on his arm or his leg, and then um, he actually encountered bats. That's how he got up. So that then he, he tried to shit the bats away. Then he talked to Bruce Wayne. Um, an older Bruce Wayne in prison and well like him in a um, a foreign prison where he uh, was within so he um, and because, because he, he had a nightmare so after that he went outside for get his breakfast and then there was inmates want to fight him the, the, the big one thinks the big one thinks he's the devil so Bruce Wayne tells him oh you're not you're just target practice so Bruce Wayne actually fought all of them till the guilty the guards actually took Bruce Wayne Bruce went away and he took him away so after, after that they put, him, they put him in the cell and that's where we meet Razzle Gore well, Liam Neeson as Razzle Ghoul. So, so, so there, he actually talked to Bruce Wayne about justice, whatever that. But he wanted to give him an offer to give him a chance to 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 serve justice and well, true justice. You know what I mean? So he asked him. He asked him. He asked him after. He, so he said to him. After you, after I release you, I want you to, to, to pick up a blue flower and take it with you all the way to the top to the mountain. And that's what he did. So, so the, the security guards actually linked him by from off a freaking truck. That's gonna hurt. And then, basically, there is like a, the Himalayas, and he was freezing cold and so he found a blue flower as Razo Gul asked him to pick up and he actually went toward to the top of the mountain where the temple is 
and it opened them. There were ninjas in there. That's a door and she asked them what his purpose is and he gave him, he gave him the, the, the flower, Bruce Wayne did. And he said to him, I serve two justice, um, one stop the corruption in one stop corruption. So, 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 so they were fighting, like practicing, but he actually realized that Bruce Wayne was afraid or afraid of something, but it's not of him. So, so basically he actually knocked him out. They were called to um, a flashback where Bruce Wayne's um, dad, Thomas Wayne, actually saved his life and he basically, so Bruce take him out of the um, well and Bruce actually gave the one leaf to, to, to Rachel to, to, to keep and then um, Bruce Wayne's dad actually, actually took out the house so Bruce Wayne could will be recovered. After he recovered from his injuries, his dad um, showed him the pearls while Bruce Wayne was in bed. After he went in bed, he showed him the pearls that he got for for, for his mom. And then um, he got to there where they were on the train where he and Lucy Fox built. And he actually tells them, so this part I really like, um, so basically you know, this version of Thomas Wayne, he is, basically he works in, basically he's a doctor, and he's not a CEO of Thomas, of Wayne Enterprises, because, because the people actually took over the company, but his family created the company, created it. So then, um, after that, oh, he said to Bruce, oh, um, I'm the doctor, I don't work there, whatever that. So basically, he's a surgeon, a surgeon, and so we talked to them when they were um, in a, in a theatre watching an opera about bats, whatever that, then Bruce in there getting flashes of bats, of bats back in the, we was in that in that well, and then he actually died to a to a dog, to a dog, to a dog because he did. So, 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 so as they came out, they come across, they come forward with um, Joe Chill, who the guy um, who is um, basically a, a dog who wants money. So he asked them, um, oh. Oh, drop your oh, oh, your wallet and I, I think he said jewelry. So with that, I, I think he said jewelry. And so Thomas Wayne trying to convince him to stop, to to not to don't do it. So he trying to stop him, and he Joe Chill shot him, and he shot Martha Wayne right in front of Bruce. And Bruce Wayne, like you could feel for Bruce Wayne, he he really um sad. This is very sad for him. Like his mom, and dad are the only family he's got, and he actually saw that saw that in front of him. But there, he actually blamed himself. He blamed himself for the deaths. He blamed himself for it. So the last word his dad said to him, he said, Bruce. It's okay. It's okay. Don't be afraid. And so there, got to uh, Bruce was in in the, the police department, and that's where we meet James Gordon, who tried to confront him, confront him, put that jacket over him, make him comfortable, but he was trying to be nice to him. But Commissioner Love came in and he said that they got to chill, got him, well, to, to lock him away. And then um, there was there the funeral, a double funeral of Thomas Wayne and Martha. And and Bruce was sent next to Alfred. And Mr. Earl, who's the CEO of 
Wayne Enterprises. He went up to Bruce and saying, "We'll be ready when you're when you're older. We'll be ready. For, we'll, we'll be waiting for you." So after that, he so Bruce went back to the house, went back to the manor, and he was upset because he uh, blamed himself. Like I said, he blamed himself. Like he feel um, scared because he knows me, but. But Alpha said to him, it's not your fault, it's Joe Chill, it's his fault, not yours. So he cut to, um, back to, um, Bruce at the temple of the League of Shadows. And he, being trained, being trained by, um, Ra's al Ghul, aka Ducard, and they train him how to be invisible. So basically, trying to be a ninja. Basically, how be a, a a stealthy ninja. So he did that. Um, and then they were fighting on the practicing on the ice, saw fighting. And Raza Ghoul is not just training him. He he trying to bring his anger out. So Bruce Wayne held so much anger inside of him, so much guilt, so much hatred. So much um, feelings that he had himself, so he wanted to do, to let it out. So as he, he has to let it out, he said, "Oh, it's your f oh, it's not your fault. It, it's your dad's fault. It's your father's fault, not yours." Bruce Wayne went angry, so he actually beaten him. But Bruce Wayne actually fell in the ice when it for water and very cold. So then he took them to where they were in the um round the fire and uh, on the ice and so it said so he so, so Bruce was freezing while so good wasn't. So they would talk about personal things and Rachel all said he he, he he had a wife and and the thing he said on the wives when he actually went up to the shadows. It's the same thing that Bruce Wayne did, but he did something differently to him. So yeah, um so Rasul asked Bruce Wayne, have you ever um, avenged your parents' death or anything? So he actually thought about it and he actually he went back to the cut scene the not cut scene, the flashback where he came home where John Bruce Wayne came home from a from school, and he actually um, said, "Oh, I'm just here. I'm just here for for here. I'm not staying." So, so as they were, the as an argument, Alfred. Um, I find him a a bit a, a bit harsh to Alfred. Because Alfred was like a father figure to him, because he raised him, and he said, "Oh, oh, come on, Alfred, this is not your family." Like, like that is very harsh, and I feel sorry for Alfred because he, he was trying to be there for him, he was trying to help, and um, then Bruce Wayne at the first seat, there was seeds, race Rachel does. Who's, an, who's a young woman now, and she was thrilled to see him again, and and said, "Oh, oh, so you're staying?" And he went, "No, I'm just here for the hearing, but for um, Joe Chill." So uh, after that, so he said something about there, like, "Oh, he said something I should, there's something I should have done, or something like that," and he said. She said, look, we all love your parents, Bruce, and ever that. He went, he went, like, he that you know, he don't care. He's like, huh? He's like, whatever. He like, don't care. So, so, so then they talked to him in the, the hearing, where the judge, and Joe Chill actually said something like, oh, there's something I should have done back then, and, and he was, and Bruce Wayne was there, and he's hearing like, he's like, okay, okay, but 
but after the hearing, the judge actually let him let Joe chill free. Let him he has to leave them. But Bruce Wayne as he walked walked towards him and he was holding his dad's gun in the sleeve, ready to ready to take him out. But then the woman came in and said she, she said, Hey Joe chill Tell my folk Tony said hi. She saw him and he actually got like dead. So so he dead now. And Rachel Rachel actually saw Bruce so like, she can see his face. So then took them in, in the car like like saying something very nasty he said very 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 rudely to her. Saying like, Oh your sister broke her no oh you don't oh Oh, there's no corruption here. There's no, nothing here. Gotham say he don't care. So he 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 had to judge. So then they took the but but Rachel on the other hand drove them beneath Gotham City, where there's a lot of people homeless and nowhere to draw or anything. So she said to him, "You wanna find Tommy Fox Tony? Go yourself." And they were talking about all oh, many people are good people and he said I'm not I'm not one of the good people and she said what do you mean? So he showed her the gun and she actually <coughs> slapped him twice. She slapped him twice for it. She said, Your father be ashamed of you and dies and she got a point though, she had got a point because because she know what like if Bruce Wayne asked to leave Tom like that, she don't want Bruce Wayne to become like like a, a killer. You know what I mean? So after that she dropped Bruce Wayne and Bruce Wayne actually throws the gun in the the in, in the water because he knows like 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 someday he will end up like like Joe Chill. Like Joe Chill. And so then that then and after that he went out went to Tom for Tony and he actually um, went up to him to, to not not to find him, try to tell him, oh, oh, we're not afraid of you. Um, no one here is afraid of you. I'm not afraid of you. And Tom and Phil Tony being be an absolute idiot, like not an idiot, like a, a mean, like a meanie, like. He said to him like, "Oh, oh, oh! You think you're a man? You think you're oh, oh! You think you're this and so something like that." And he said like, "You still be afraid, but you don't stand." So then, if men got Bruce Wayne, not to my, like, not punch him, and he he said about his, about his parents, by his dad, and something he said to him, "Oh." I think I think he said something something like this. He said, "Tommy Fortune said to Bruce, he said, oh, Joe Chill told me today about your parents' death, death, and he said, oh, your dog paid for mercy, paid like the dog, and Bruce was like really angry. So they took Bruce out, and they went to um, so he has the trade jackets with the old the, the old guy, the homeless guy." Then he went on to the boat. That's how he got into the prison because he, for a few seconds, he did some crimes. He did some stealing and like that. So he went from the prison there. That's how he got there. So back then, so back to um, Bruce Wayne's in the, in the training with Red Rule. He was training and do some bit of training with him and he trying to see which one is him. And Bruce Wayne he been but very smart. He actually cut one of the um, the guy's sleeves because Rachel Gold actually cut one of his sleeve while encounter while encountering each time. So Rachel Gold actually encountered the wrong person. Like like Bruce actually like you you the wrong person, mate. And so the Rachel was like, but. 
Yasli uh, didn't fail that Yasli to succeed, but they asked Bruce Wayne to kill someone, and Bruce Wayne's not very comfortable about it because they asked him to kill a farmer. He went, I know, I know, an executioner. So, 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 but, 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 but the car said to him, but he, he, went, he went, look. You want to serve justice, now this is how you do it. You kill this man. You kill the man. And you went, no, I don't want to do it. So the first guy I drew asked him to take the man, to lead his man to Gotham. And you're like, no, I'm not doing it. So as that, Bruce Wayne asked the um, change mind, yes, he saved the guy. He burned the whole temple down. He fights um, the fake Razzle, Ray Razzle, he dead. He saved um, Raz, he saved the child, and he takes him to this nearest um, village, and he they take care of him there. And that's really nice of him. And then, um, he went back on the plane with Alfred, went home, and then I'm not going too much this now, guys. So he goes straight back to Wayne Tower, trying to tell you, oh, I'm not dead, I'm not dead, I'm just away for, for seven years. So seven years he's away, Jesus Christ, that was, that was, that's a long time. So, and all that, um, so he saw, um, R R Rachel with her boss about, um, because she's trying to convince, um, so basically, Rachel is very concerned about Scarecrow taking all these um, inmates, all these prisoners to Arkham Sun, but they're not. As you know, insane. They're not insane. They're not mentally insane. So as so he does that with, with, with Victor Saz, he does that with anybody. So after that, um, Bruce Wayne went back to the tower. Like I said, Bruce Wayne went back to the tower. He meets Earl and he, he asked Earl, <coughs> <coughs> ask Earl for a job. So he asked about, about signs and anything. So that's where we meet uh, Lewis Fox, Lucy Fox. And Bruce Wayne asked him to want to do a ball thing for smelonging or um, for cave diving. So he gave him, so he gave him all this body armor, anything like that. Um, so after he gave him all that, then he interested with the tumbler. Yeah, with the tumbler, right? With the tumbler. So he gave him the tumbler. He went, "Oh, the bird just looks fine." He went, "It doesn't come in black." So he does that. Uh, so basically, after Hodge Paws being together, he went after for Tom and for Tony. I'm, I'm not doing that too much. So basically, Tom and for Tony um, stuff drugs and stuff animals like rabbits and bears. To for so basically, you know, they're like um, gas in there. But for anything like that, so Tom and for Tony was there with man Batman. He came Batman, guys. So he actually took out. Bruce took out all the goons one by one. They took all about at, at, at once. Then he went up to the drama Tony and he, he went, What the hell are you? And he goes, I'm Batman. Like that. And he, he so basically, the police got there. Everything like that. And it was cool. So, jump to a few scenes. I'm not doing anything else. Um, if I remember very, very well. Um, Bruce Wayne, uh, well the day was, is Bruce Wayne, well Bruce Wayne was with two girls and about to go to his hotel and it, so he actually bought his hotel and the girls were ski dipping in, in the pool, like uh, in, in, in the thing and then um, there's, there's a Rachel, he said uh, it, it doesn't matter who went underneath what I do defines me. So he did that. She said that to him, and then did all that stuff. But Rachel, um, well, it, do something about 
So basically, um, if I remember this correctly, Rachel still talks about her train, and the machine that Lucy Fox created, the prototype, was missing on, on a barge. So you talk about Lucy, about her about that, and he don't, he don't care. Then he fires him about it. He fires him, and then um. Through the scene, the Bruce um, named Rachel Jen, but that was on his birthday. And Bruce Wayne just goes to Batcave and suit up as Batman. And he, he went to um, the Narrows, that's where the Arkham is, because Rachel's there trying to, um, trying to um, persuade Crane to take the prisoners back. To the person, the other person that they, they were in, but um, but um, she got um poisoned by the fear gas that he created. So basically, he got the mass, and he got Tommy Volcani there, but Tommy Volcani and got any mental illness that's trying to tell him but he's like so he's like oh you want to know what I do then so he took her down then that's when he, he has to poison her then after that Batman came took them out and then he saved her because the, the police was there and he said all there was watching that Batman was there Rachel, Rachel Chris Jordan, well Jordan went up trying to um, save her. I know, I know there are a few scenes where Batman actually got um, torched with fire by my Scarecrow, I thought that the antidote, whatever. That's way before that. Um, so even in the Narrows, um, Batman got the secret weapon. Um, he got the um, signal on his his boot and he said bats like tons of bats straight towards like toward the the SWAT team as a distraction so as Mr. Gordon well Gordon actually James Gordon actually well Sergeant Gordon and you want to call it when take Rachel down Batman took down took like trying to find a different way to try, try a different way out so he, he happy did that he made a bat with Jordan and he took Rachel in, in, the, in the tumbler. He, he went, he went, he went, I'll get my car. He went, I brought mine. So he yeah, after that, he went to the chase scene with the, with Rachel in. He went straight with it, with the people, with the police, smashed things up and did a lot of damage in his, in his, um, in his chase scene, it, 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 so, so they drive all the way back to the back cave. So he gave us, uh, gave us some antidote because he had that fear gas, fear toxin once. So Lucy Fox actually killed him. Now he, he got some more from him to kill other people. And after that, the, the police actually. Um, Red gain and basically they poured a lot of toxins in the water, suppl water supply and then um then they took him back took back to well between that um Gordon was trying to interrogate um Jericho who by by asking him who he's working for and he said to him oh you won't be able to stop him or anything. This is gonna be this to be terror like like terror. And so they took back to Batman when he um he, he gave her after he gave her the the, the uh, antidote and uh, they were talking so he asked her asked Rachel to give the other antidotes to Gordon and uh, someone else. So that's what he did. And then see today the, the Batman went back to his manor because that was his birthday and 
He said Alfred and he takes these people out because he knows what's something going on. Then Alf so he asked Alfred to take Rachel home and that's what he did. So in there he made a drink speech and asked everyone out home. But before that Rachel do actually came to his home and so so that so basically he reveals his plan of Scarecrow and Totsin and whatever that so basically he planned to destroy Gotham and then um if I remembered he has to destroy Bruce Wayne's home but he has to let everyone out then he destroys home by putting on, putting on fire and Alfred saved Bruce's life went back to Batcave and he has to suit up but Razor Joel went towards the narrows that where they were and he got the device and he got the device that all he let go he let out all the inmates just riot. He was like horrific looking and the SWAT teams on there trying to do something there's nothing they can do. But Bruce Wayne actually showed up because he the only one who can help. So as he did that he went towards he still top when the Batmobile went or the Tumblr actually. He went to the narrows, helped Gordon. Uh, Rachel gave him um, the antidote. Then Rachel asked to save the little kid. Then Batman came and saved both of them from desires and everybody. And she actually uh, found out Batman Bruce Wayne. And so Batman, well, Bruce Wayne actually, and Batman. He actually glide towards everywhere is like um, nothing but tear toxin, fear toxin around. Like it's evaporated into the water supply, into the air. That's what they did. And everyone's like something. And Flash, who is um, Commission Gordon's partner, he was simply working with them and he knocked him out so then Batman asked Gordon to control the the tumbler so he could take out the um uh, take out the you know what I mean guys the train because they want to take the train to the Wayne Tower that's where the main supplies are and so uh, after that Bruce Wayne went to Went onto the train. Well, well, he fought Rachel Gould's, um fought men, fought ninjas. He got, he took them out. He went to Rachel Gould's, um train on the train. He fought Rachel Ghoul, and then after he actually um, fought him. So Batman said to him, "I don't have to kill you." But I, I don't have to, but, but I don't have to save you. So he did that, and he hit the thing. So, so as Jordan exploded the main in, um, in the middle of the train, the, the the tracks, he actually Batman actually hit it because the train is going on the leaf main tower, and we did, and then, um. Then the train exploded underneath the tower, and then Bruce Wayne as it glided, and then he caught him, caught back to him, uh, where he that way man up with the boat to try to rebuild it. But Rachel actually don't want him to be Batman. She wants him. She said, she said to him, she said one day. Gotham doesn't need Batman anymore, so she actually, she actually have a have, have a little, little kiss, and, and I was like, oh, that's so sweet. And so Batman and Bruce, Batman, no, Bruce Wayne as the Alpha decided to make another Bat, another HQ, no, better operations at the E Dark. At the West Gotham, that's where he has to have, and that was great. So then Batman went to 
meet Miss meet Jordan, who's now Lieutenant Jordan, and he shown enough on the. If I can demonstrate on the symbol, he went nice. So Commissioner, well, Lieutenant Jordan asked him about this new new enemy and show the card and that was a joke of cards guys that was a joke of cards it's like oh wait so so no is the joke are gonna be in the next one that's what that, that's what I was watching it, it, it like first time I was like so yes and so that was cool to see the joke of card and then Bruce Wayne, well, Batman trying to fly, about to fly away, but she, he asked him, saying, "Oh, um, I just want to say thank you." He went, "You don't have to." Then, then he glided. He said, "Batman Begins," and guys, that was Batman Begins story. And let me tell you, the story is really cool, and I really love, I really love this film. And overall, Batman Begins is a really, really, really amazing film. One of my favorite Batman films all time. And if you haven't seen Batman Begins, I highly recommend you watch that film. It's really cool. And and yeah. So guys, in the next video, I will be reviewing The Dark Knight on Friday at 8 p.m. So please don't well 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. and please don't miss it and and most of all thank you so much for watching and if you in if you enjoy this video and want to support me don't forget to smack the like button subscribe to the channel leave a comment down below on your thoughts on Batman Begins and I'll see you guys next time they're awesome.